How's it going everyone, it's me Vivi and welcome to some Kingdom Hearts. So a few days ago, Kingdom Hearts tech savvies, let's call it that, they were able to dig into the files of 0.2 of Fragmentary Passage. Now before their recent findings, we had two room mods of Destiny Islands, one by user HD he raid me and the other by 13th Vessel. We got a better look of Destiny Islands, which looks pretty cool. The links will be in the description below if you want to check them out. So recently user Zainamo, I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly, but over on Twitter, he explained that he was able to come up with a file unpacker. With the help of Key to Truth and 13th Vessel, they were able to look inside the files of 0.2. We got Lu Shu, who has a face. Yes, he always had a face, but his actual face was never shown in the game. This thing right here simply looks temporary. Lu Shu was present in 0.2, but simply during a very brief scene. He was watching over the war and Kingdom Hearts was being summoned, right? This one, the palace courtyard from Castle of Dreams. This was unexplorable. We just had a cutscene. So it's pretty cool to see this as well. Mickey's Star Seeker. The black box. Oh look! Mystery solved. Nothing's inside the box. No. Seriously, there's something in the box. But if it's truly empty, then I honestly wouldn't be surprised. Seeing the nature of the Master of Masters, I mean, he's the one who gave the box to Lushu, but seeing Lushu's reaction, many of us think there's actually something inside the box. But maybe it's empty and maybe that's why he had that reaction? We'll find out one day. So with that being said, here's the rest of the findings. Zaynama will also try and find a way to add texture, and he's going to release even more if he's capable. Some people have been mentioning the script of the game, something like that. He said that once we get enough resources, the right tools, for sure we'll reveal more stuff for you guys. Now a short while later, Kitu Truth was able to uncover some unused magic commands apparently. He feels like these unused commands are going to be part of Kingdom Hearts 3, seeing as how 0.2 was meant to give us a taste of Kingdom Hearts 3, don't forget that. Apparently there's water-based magic, which was unused. Arrow as well, in the files of 0.2. Now, Arrow, we're pretty familiar with that, right? Kingdom Hearts 1, for example. Arrow was also seen in some of the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailers. We also have Holy, which perhaps could have been a situation command with Mickey and Aqua. They did have a situation command. Maybe there was supposed to be a second one, and Holy, we did have something similar to that name, Holy Burst, which allowed the character to team up with Mickey to unleash these balls of energy, Chain of Memories, and Birth by Sleep. Here's the full list of the stuff uncovered by Key to Truth. Everything seems familiar, right? Except for water, and it goes up until fourth tier, Ja. The most cool thing seems to be the ability to combine magic spells. Water with fire, water fire, water with blizzard, water blizzard, water with arrow, water arrow. Key to Truth believes that it doesn't seem to be the nature of the command deck system, where you could mix magic and attack commands together to synthesize a new command. 0.2 and Kingdom Hearts 3 have the command menu. So according to Key to Truth, KH3 might have a new mechanic where we have the ability to combine different elements together, perhaps with the help of Donald. What do you guys think of that? Would you like to see water-based magic in KH3? Something new? It'd be fantastic in my opinion. Opinion. So yep, with that being said, I'm gonna leave everything in the comments section below and thank you to Key to Truth and everyone else who were able to uncover all of these things from 0.2, it's pretty awesome. And yep, with that being said, I've been Vivi and thank you for watching.